Hello! Today we are going to do some core exercises targeted at getting our pelvis in the right position. So these, um, especially if you have struggled with feeling your core or maybe you even have some kind of abdominal separation like diastasis recti, these will help you begin to heal that, regain that connection back to your core and um, set you up for any kind of workout or exercise you would like to do. That being said, we're gonna go ahead and hop into it. So come on down to your mat and get started with me. Okay, so I'm gonna to begin to lay on my back. And I like to start all of my core exercises with a little bit of belly breathing. So you're gonna make a nice triangle with your hands like this. And I'm going to go ahead and place that right on my pelvis so that that window you've created with your fingers um, is going to go right in the middle on your belly button and then our fingers are pointing on our pink pubic bone. And from here, we're going to begin to take some big breaths. So you're going to inhale, breathe into the tips of your fingers. Try to keep everything nice and still and exhale let out all your air. So we're breathing into the space right beneath our tummy or our pubic bone. Taking a big breath right away as you do these. You might even notice a stretching sensation down your lower back towards your tailbone. Last couple here. Notice how still everything else is staying here as I'm breathing. Nice, now we got that um, correct belly breath. We're gonna start to add some pelvic tilts. So hands can stay here. You can also make them a little wider and place them on your hip bones. So I'm kind of letting them come apart and I'm placing them on my hip bones. Notice how your hip bones feel to begin with. And then we're gonna take a big inhale, begin to fill that belly, it's the same spot we were breathing in. And as we do so, we're arching the back off the floor. Exhale, you're gonna begin to tuck. Pull that belly button up and in and feel the low back hit the mat. So a couple just like that. Feel those hip bones go lower. Exhale, feel the hip bones come up a little bit higher. Notice the change in what you feel here. Ideally, we're gonna do somewhere between 10 to 20 of these before we start this exercise. So we can find that correct engagement with our core and our pelvis. Nice, so go ahead and pause the video, do those 10 to 20 plus reps of those to make sure you're nice and set up. All right, and then we're gonna stay in this position that we are in. I'm gonna go ahead and move to one of my legs. We're gonna take a big inhale, hands can stay on the pelvis if you'd like, and then we begin to drag right heel along your yoga mat, taking a big inhale through the nose. It almost feels like it leaves the socket. It gets super long and straight. And then exhale, you're gonna lay out all your hair as you begin to pull the low belly in. As you pull the low belly in, you're tucking the pelvis to push that low back into the mat. So inhale, we're letting it go out nice and straight to allowing the pelvis to do whatever it likes. And then exhale, you're pulling the belly button in, letting out your air, tucking that tailbone so you're imprinting your low back into the mat. So inhale, we're dragging. Exhale, you're bringing it back along the mat. We're gonna do somewhere between seven to 15 of these on both sides. And once you got that, you're gonna go ahead and move on to the other leg. Repeat the process. What then, some things you should feel is that when you draw it back, that belly button is pulling in. And as you do so, just like we find that tuck, we found that tuck of the pelvis earlier. The low back is beginning to press into the mat. Notice how there's no low back space. If you don't know if you're doing it correctly, you can take your hands, put them underneath your low back to give you some feedback. So as I send my leg out nice and long along the mat with my inhale, you feel that space beneath our lower back that is normal. It's a part of our spinal curve. And then exhale as you drag it back, your low back presses into your hands creating that tension as you tuck the pelvis. So big inhale to expand, big exhale to drag it back. Nice, 
Once you've got around seven to 15 reps, pretty easy on both sides, you're gonna repeat the same thing with your with two legs at a time. So you can keep the hands under your low back if you like that variation. You're gonna tuck, I'm just gonna allow yourself to be neutral to begin. And then inhale, you drag both heels along the mat. Exhale, you tuck the pelvis, press into your, your hands, press that low back into the floor. Belly button pulls in. So inhale, we send the legs out long. And exhale, you drag it back. You should feel that core start to light up, maybe in that lower core area, the transverse abdominis, um, as you do these. Um, what we want to kind of avoid is if you're feeling a lot of this in your hip flexors, we have the low back positioning wrong. So this should feel like an intense core exercise or just some core activation in um, your main core muscles, but mainly we're trying to get that lower abdominals, the transverse abdominis to turn on. And what those do is help pull our abs back closer together if we're suffering, suffering with uh, diastasis recti. But if we aren't, it helps us um, be able to control our pelvis. And that's important because any movement that we do, if our pelvis isn't in the right position, we can set ourselves um, in a position that's not so great for our bodies. And also without that pelvis in the right position, we are not able to fully activate through our core muscles. So no matter what lift you're doing, pelvis positioning and control is key before we advance to any harder movements. So if these are feeling really easy for you, um, <laughs> that's okay. This is still something that's helpful to practice to regain that core and pelvic control. All right, guys, thank you for moving with me today. Um, go ahead and repeat this exercise one to three sets, seven to 15 reps on each, taking breaks in between. Have a nice one, happy moving.